what's up everybody it is cleveland brown um today i've got some good news and i've got some bad news so you, you know let's get some gameplay man let's get some gameplay on while i talk psych no gameplay anyway so today i've got a lot to talk about um I'd like to say that this video will be very long, so if you don't got the time, then come back later. I don't know how long it's going to be, probably 30 minutes, probably 15, I don't know. However long it takes to talk about this. So, I believe that the first thing I should do is talk about the good news first, because the bad news... It's something not everybody's gonna like obviously so we're gonna go through that first um, there will be topics on certain people and certain things so all I need you to do go somewhere quiet or some shit I don't know just just listen and I'll have some pictures for you to see as I talk psych you thought again there is no good news there's only bad news so the first thing I want to talk about on the bad news side, which is literally the only news I have for you today, is the shortening of my friends list. Now I will be shortening this because I feel like I've got too many friends. I've almost got like fucking 2,000 friends on my goddamn PlayStation. And for those of you who are on my friends list, Nearly 90% of you are going to get deleted within like the next two days. Before Saturday, tomorrow's Thursday, I'll be up for quite a long time literally just going through my friends list for like the next couple of days and just literally deleting people one by one. The only people I probably won't delete will be like my cousin and uh, a lot of my family and a couple of good friends of mine. But... Before I get any further into this topic, I want to talk about specifically a couple of people who I for sure am going to delete. So I'm going to go on ahead and roll up the first person and I will explain why I will be deleting the next person that I'm about to show on the screen. Now the first friend I'm going to be getting rid of is you, Death Hunter 9. Yes, you. We have been friends for many years or I, I don't even know how long at this point now for like I said earlier uh, I'm not gonna spend too long as to why I'm just simply saying that I will do it but I will tell you a couple of reasons why I guess I'm not gonna ramble on about it you know forever so basically you're a cool guy and we found a lot of memories on GTA, BO3, with your cousin, Mason, and, you know, we've had all those people back in the day. It was really fun. But, honestly, I kind of feel like it's about time for you to move on and go to somebody else. And I think it's time for you to, to, let, to let Cleveland go, man, like, honestly. You spam invite me every day. You want to play with me every day. It's like, come on, man. Like, I, I do want to play, but it's like, at the end of the day, I don't know. Somehow I'm starting to feel like I'm a threat to you. I don't know what it is, but I, I just don't know, man. I don't know. But I feel like I just need you to go get your own space, and maybe I should have my own, honestly. Because, I mean, you're a good person, and I always know that. But it's like, I really think it's time for you to, like, move on from me and maybe go and play with your other friends. Because it was good in the beginning, but as we played a lot, it started to get boring, and it's like the same thing every day. It's like, nowadays, we barely play with each other. So, for those reasons, it's like, why are you still here? You know what I'm saying? Like, just just move on, bro. Go, go on ahead to someone else, okay? Now for this next person, I have already deleted this person for reasons, but I wanted to make this next one kind of interesting as to why I deleted this person, and this person knows exactly why I deleted him. 
so this person is clouds as you can see on the screen here me and clouds have been friends for ah, dude it's been like fucking years i have no idea but i know it's been years like we go way fucking back like way back man like when i was first on ps4 it was like one of the first people i've even added on my friends list like in all seriousness now clouds knows why i deleted him apparently we got into a uh, altercation and he said some very wrong things to me and so i was like you know what i'm getting sick of it over the years that we've been friends it, it's been great I'm not trying to sound like a fucking couple here but it's been great okay <laughs> and it's like he started to change on me he started to turn into a completely different person and everything else and he knows why I did this too I've already explained to him now clouds and I got into an argument the other day because he decided it was funny to be racist and all this other stuff and like just say all these things that I did not feel like hearing at the time I wasn't having a good day so apparently I was like you know what fuck this man like honestly you're not the guy I used to play with all the time. You're just a fucking asshole now. So basically what I did was I was like, fuck it. You know, he gone. So yeah, I was just like, you know what? Fuck it. You know, if you want to be like that, then all right. Don't be like that near me. Get off my friends list. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't even trying to deal with you no more. I tried to be nice. Tried to be cool. Tried to go along with it. But I feel like he changed too much. Like, he, he's just doing his own little thing now. Fucking annoying and pissing me off. Throwing invites to me every single day spamming me to death begging me to do this and that bossing me around like oh if you don't get off of this game i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna do that well you know what let's just not be friends anymore go go do the shit you do to me to somebody else like don't do that to me no more i don't want to hear it i don't care go grab yourself a fucking life you're still a child you obviously have not grown up yet you're still immature as shit i don't know what the fuck happened to you you used to be cool, but then you just turned into a complete dickhead. So it's like, all right, go be a dickhead to fucking little crazed or some shit like that. I honestly don't care anymore. Just, just get off my friends list. I fucking deleted you. We've already talked about this, clouds. Huh? Now on to the good part. Now, now on to the next person. Uh, away from clouds and on to the next person. I hope you're looking at this right now with like big ass eyes right now and you already know it's your turn little crazed you are the next person I will definitely delete now there's like so many reasons why I'm going to be doing this but I'm not even gonna ramble on about you I'm really not I don't got time for you anymore like honestly you you just I don't know I just don't feel like rambling on about you because I feel like I'd be wasting so much time because you always have something to say. And it's like, you're my brother. I ain't even gonna get on you about nothing. I'm just gonna simply delete you and simply go somewhere else. I don't want to make you mad. I don't want to make you hurt. None of that shit. I just want you to just accept the shit. Keep moving. And I also got someone else, too, that I will be saying the same thing, too. So you're not the only one that's going to get this. Anyway, you should have, like, literally a huge idea as to why I'm doing this. I'm going to be getting rid of you because of so many reasons. But I'm not talking about that shit for, like, literally 30 whole minutes of why. I'm just going to simply say... I'm going to delete you. That's that. I'll probably inform you of a little bit of reason why. I'll say that we've had our good days. We've had our bad days. We've had days where we've argued, where we fight, where we can't get along, where we fight over stupid shit and, and stuff like that. All right. Honestly, you're literally like my little fucking brother, dude. But... I trusted you and I loved you and you were like my fucking family. You and Zeno were like family to me. You guys are so awesome. Like, it's not even funny. You guys are literally like the people I'd probably want to spend the rest of my fucking life with, okay? I'd probably marry you fucking guys. Like, that. that's how literally amazing you are. But the thing is, is that I really feel like I'm basically intruding 
your life right now because you're going through some tough shit while I'm sitting here in happiness and joy and it's like whenever I play with you I can feel that you're not always enjoying yourself you know you're not always enjoying yourself you're always not enjoying me you know like you you just tend to have those moments where you just get where you just change you know and it like rings the bell in my head like what the fuck is wrong with him like literally you know you always are you're always being an asshole to me i'm not exactly sure why you're always just being a dick to me and you're always got some mean shit to say to me and and that i don't think that's how like friends talk and communicate so it's like if that's not how friends do it why are we still friends you know i thought we'd be like the type of friends that'd be cool you know, always glad to see each other, always glad to play a game together every day, have fucking fun with it, but every time I join you, it's like, oh, Cleveland, fuck you, hope you die, hope you do this, hope you do that, and you started that shit, okay, I didn't start that shit, you you could go ahead and say whatever you want, I don't care, you started it, I didn't start any of it, I fought back whenever you started it, saying the same things to you, but after a while, it's like, where the fuck is our friendship going, like, where are we going with this? Even you know this. We've talked about this shit. Alright, bro? Like, we've talked about this. <laughs> so it's like, where where are we going with this? We're not getting anywhere. And like we talked about, if we were ever not friends, what would we do with Zeno? Because Zeno was kind of almost like our fucking child. Like, if Zeno sees the two of us going our separate ways, then where the, what the fuck is Zeno going to do? Is he going to play with you or me? Well, I have an answer to that question which will bring us to our next person Xeno King Xeno King Xeno King I know honestly it must really hurt for you to see this and I understand that it really must hurt you I want to say before I go on that I am so sorry about what you're about to hear I have one reason for deleting you, and that's because I want Crazed to be with you, man. You know, like to to watch over you when I'm not there, because if I delete you, it's like there is no reason to. But now I have a reason to. It's simply because I just want to put Crazed to the side because I'm really trying to jot down on my friends list and move on. The same old friends I have every day is just honestly, they're just irking me. Like, I don't know. Like, Clouds is one of them. And Zeno, you are not one of them. I I have to do this. All right? I, like, I literally have to do this. It's simply because I deleted Craze that I have to delete you. Because I don't want you to be in the middle and to go to Craze, to play with him, go to me, play with me. So it's like, I'm just going to step back. And I'm going to let you go to crazed. Don't come back to me no more, Zeno. I, I, it's, I'm, I'm not saying this to hurt you. Like, I'm dead ass serious. I'm not trying to hurt you by saying this. But I'm saying, like, I don't want drama to start between yourself and me and crazed. And I just really don't have time for it. So it's like, I got to I gotta douche you out. Like, I really got to push you to the side man and let crazed you know take care of you and shit and like play with you every day like he's supposed to you know the only reason i'm deleting you is because of crazed i'm deleting you because of crazed literally me and you go way back man and you know it we go way back to like literally when i first started playing friday and you were cool and you're still cool just like you were you were the one friend that never changed on me never changed at all and that's why i could never delete you but you know what just because i deleted crazed i have to get rid of you as well and it's like if i didn't delete you but i deleted crazed it would only cause drama and have you go to him, then you go to me, and then you go back to him, and then eventually you'll try to make us come back together. It's going to be awkward and weird again. This shit already happened once. I won't let it happen again, all right? Like, I just want you to just back off then because I don't want any of that drama happening again. To prevent future drama and shit, to prevent me and you 
get into a, some kind of argument and to prevent you from, you know what I'm saying, doing things that you thought you'd never do, I'm going to have to put you out, man. And to anyone who's hearing this right now, if you're not deleted and you're on my friends list, then honestly, that just means to me, like, I had no real reason to delete you, so I will keep you as a friend, you know what I'm saying? And that's probably, when I'm done, I'm probably going to have, like, literally, like, 300 friends, uh, and I'm deleting probably about over 18, no, 1,700 people within these next couple of days, literally. Damn near 1,700 people. That's going to take forever, all right? <laughs> but if your name is not on this list, then... That doesn't mean you're not going to get deleted. I'm simply just making this list for, like, my special friends and taking them out as well. Because I need to I need to cut my damn friends list, you know what I'm saying? Just so that I can, don't have to scroll through so many people. But at the same time, I just want to talk about, you know what I'm saying? I just, I just want to talk about the special people and stuff in this video and, like, Zeno, back to you. I'm doing this because I'm deleting Craze. That's why I'm deleting you as well. So I want you to go play with him every day. Have fun with him. Do what you want with him. It doesn't even matter to me. Go, go, just go to him, man. All right. Like, I, I, I know it's going to be really hard to get over me. I will always love you, bro. Like a fucking brother. Like, you're literally like my big brother. Like, I fucking love you. All right. But I have to do this. And I already know that this shit's going to break you. And if it does, just remember, bro, that I do not hate you. And I did not do it because I hate you. I did it because I have to. All right. But if you're okay with this, then that's good. All right. We can just simply just go on from this. Maybe someday well, I'll meet you in the Friday lobby. I don't know. All right. <laughs> But just know that you're one of my greatest friends I got on my list. And I'm only doing this because of Crazed. Now, Crazed, don't feel like I'm attacking you and I hate you either. Love you too, man. All right? But it's just something I got to do. And the reason I'm doing this is because I really am trying to start over. I'm trying to start over on everything. I'm trying to, trying to go a different route. Like, I'm literally about to stab Cleveland in the fucking back and get rid of him for good. So I'm basically just going to stab everyone in the back who I've done Cleveland to and basically leave them because I'm going to be starting a new profile and I'm already working on that. I'm also going to be starting a new fucking life. So I have to work on that as well. I got shit I got to do. So basically, I got to get rid of my friends that pretty much give me a large impact on that. And you guys, of course, everyone on this list gives me a large impact right now. And it's like I can't move on because I'm be so stuck back on you guys. You know what I'm saying? And it's like in order to go on with life, I got to do this but a little crazed, if you are watching this shit right now, I want you to understand that I really need you to take care of Z. Like, honestly, don't let this man go. That man is like the perfect fucking friend. Don't you ever let him go and don't ever hurt him. Because if you do, I will haunt you, bitch, and your fucking dreams. Your nightmares will be about me killing your ass. So... Alright, but I'm going to move on to the next person now. But Zeno, just know it's not your fault. And Little Crazed, it's not really your fault either. It sort of is. But like, hey, I got to do what I got to do. Like a boss. No, no, no. Don't you dare start fucking cussing at your phone right now. I am not deleting you. I'm not deleting you. I'm not. Okay, calm down. Because I already know you're like, how the fuck did this asshole, how dare, no. I'm not going to delete you. There are so many reasons why I cannot. I've already done this to you once already and I realized I can't do it. I can't do that to you. You, I will 100% trust to be the friend that will be there with me when I go and get this new shit done. All right, all right. And there's a few reasons why I can't delete you. And Zeno, if you're watching this, I would leave you as a friend too to help me 
you know, move up and move forward. But Little Crazed is preventing me from doing that. So Zeno, you're probably like, oh, that's fucked up. Why would he, why would he let Boss stay there, but not me? I've been his brother. I've had his back. Zeno, it's not you. Trust me, you would not be on this list if it wasn't for Crazed. Like, honestly. But anyway, back to Boss, because this is Boss's turn. Boss, I gotta, I gotta... I gotta, I gotta let you stay, man. I don't know that fucking stutter though. Like, goddamn, <laughs> holy shit, that stutter. But anyway, I gotta let I <sighs> my English. I have to let you stay, and there's like a couple of <laughs> there's like a couple of reasons why. It's because for one, you're actually pretty cool. For two, you're actually pretty cool. For three, you're actually really cool. Like honestly, you're really cool. You're one of those friends that have never changed either. And you're one of my greatest friends. You're like one of my top three. Honestly, we don't play too much anymore. But every time I play with you, it's like we have some mad ass fun. Like, come on, man. You got to admit, like, those are some good times right there. Not only that, you're going through some problems and you know I'm still your therapist. and You know I still got to help you go through this, man. You put literally 100% of your trust towards me and you told me shit you've never told anyone in your life. And it's like, how can I leave him behind like that and fuck him over for literally the third or I think it's the second time? Like, shit, I can't fuck you over anymore, bro. I can't. So I'm going to have you stay here with me. Keep me company, you know, chill, all that. So I can't delete you, all right? So don't go, don't go after this video and be like, holy shit, I'm getting deleted. No, you're not. You're not. So you can calm down, okay? I cannot fuck you over again. Alright, so to pretty much sum up this video, I'm going to sit here for about another five more minutes and basically talk about everything I just talked about all over again. So the reason why I'm getting rid of uh, all my friends is because I need space for one, to fill it in for future friends, for two, I honestly am trying to start over again on a different account as literally just me, myself, and for three, um, it's just that I, I'm, I'm feeling like it's that point in my fucking life where I just need to give up all the old shit and move on to some new shit and I'll take some old people with me if I got to. Now, I want to go back through the people list that I was deleting. So, I'm going to start off with... I'm going to start off with Death Hunter. Death Hunter and Mr. A. It is not your fault. The only reason I'm getting rid of you, Death Hunter, is because I feel like it's best if you move on to somebody else that you can look up to other than Cleveland. Like, it's honestly time for you to kind of grow up a bit. Like, I'm not being mean. I'm just saying, like, it's time for you to honestly, like, grow up, bro. And, like, honestly go and move on to some really fresh people like you've been you've been by my side for far too long and I'm and I'm not deleting everyone that's been by my side too long so don't think if you're friends with me for a long time that you know it's like oh it's time to delete you he's gonna delete me soon so let me just you know try to act brand new no it's just that you have been with me for years and it's like I feel like at the same time those first few times we had, you know, when we played like BO3 and GTA were good and all, but it's like over time, we haven't communicated much. We haven't spoken much. I, I did hurt you like twice, bro. And it's like, I feel like if I keep staying your friend, I'm going to keep on being a threat to you. And that's why I said earlier, I'm a threat to you because I feel like I just cannot bear to hurt one of my good friends again. And it's like, I feel guilty. So I got to get rid of you, man. Moving on to the next person. Moving on to Zeno King. Zeno King, it is not your fault. Do not say it is your fault. Please do not say that it is my fault either. But simply say that it is kind of more likely Crazy's fault. And the only reason I deleted Crazed is because I feel like Crazed is too crazed for me. Like, honestly. I feel like it's time for him to go on and move on and find someone who he can literally play with. Because with me, it's like, it's fun. It's great. But it's like we're going nowhere with life. We're going nowhere with our friendship. I don't even think we're considered friends. Because honestly, he would rather probably play with you than me. And it's like, oh, uh, great. <laughs> you know, like, 
and I'd rather play with you than him. So it's kind of like, we're not going anywhere with this. We're literally only staying by each other's side simply because of you. And it's like, you are keeping us together. So it's, so I feel like that's kind of wrong. So I'm just going to get rid of him and Zeno, I'm going to just take you with him. You can go with him and I'm going to have to get rid of you with him for various reasons. Now, like a boss, moving on. Like a boss, it's not your fault at all. I'm not deleting you, so don't even say anything. Moving on again to Clouds. Clouds, you know the reason why. Clouds was being a fucking asshole. He's being racist. He was doing all this crazy shit that he's never done to me ever. He changed. He's just a complete asshole now. Like, he does not care about anybody but himself. And moving on to the final one. Um, Death Hunter, I also want to say that I will be getting rid of Zombie Killer. Uh, I will be getting rid of him as well. So don't think you can go to him to get to me. That definitely won't happen. And finally, last but not least, Little Craze. Little Craze, Little Craze. What do I have to say about you, man? You're cool, but you weren't cool for too long. After time has passed, I begin to realize that maybe you are actually mental. Like, maybe you actually need help. You know? And it's like, what's the point of us sticking together? We're two completely different people. Obviously, it's obvious that we don't really like each other. So piss off, bro. <laughs> no, don't piss off. Uh, I'm just going to piss off. I'm going uh, to begin this new era, starting with getting rid of you. So if you're watching this... I really hope you take care of Z. It was fun. Thanks. And I really hope you honestly find peace within yourself. Like, I'm so serious. Relax and find yourself some good friends with Zeno, man.